What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. If I look blown out and or tired, it's because I did wake up 15 minutes ago. It is okay. I, uh, I'm currently heading over to my boy's house with, uh, with an interesting car. Um, he has been on the channel uh, a couple times before. He definitely uh, has the most interesting builds that I know. And uh, today we're going to be looking at a Q45, which is Infinity, with a turbo BMW engine swapped in. It's going to be a good day. Gigantic. So what the fuck am I looking at? What is this? It's Mega Square. Mega Square? Yeah, from the auto tune. Excellent. It might feel it might be kind of like annoying and there's a lot of rubbing and but it, it's learning. I'm gonna take it to the dyno later. But it drives. Okay. It fucking drives. I'm I mean, it fucking drives. There's no support part. Holy shit. Holy fuck <laughs> me. We're fucking here. Just been extra uh, yeah. radiator fluid. Maybe. Well, so like the the thing was when it blew up, mm -hmm. all the oil from the ring land passed through into the exhaust. Excellent. So that's what. That that's the smoke. Probably. Excellent. Oh, it backfires really loud too. <laughs> so. Okay. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Here's one more time if you want to get it better. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I thought it was my logo for a second. Alright, All right, go ahead. And the power steering goes away. What the fuck? It's a Miata part. It's, it's a Miata part, like for an ND Miata. And then you just retrofit everything. And then, uh, yeah, now it's a catch can and a uh, window washer. You're like, where are we going to put it? And then you just like, let's bend that shit. Yeah. We're good to go. Yeah. A Camry. Did you actually buy that? That's fucking incredible. Oh my. That's amazing. It's so nice in here. With the Audi? What the fuck is that shit? Why? YOLO. I'm fucking. Cob everything. Cob everything. This is actually incredible. 
Wait, why is it so nice in here? It's a this, legacy. This is bullshit. No, yeah, I'm never going back to a GD. What the hell am I doing? In a GD. This is bullshit. Yeah. Oh my god. This is this nice. Does this smell like stock? This is not. Uh, this is a JDM. JDM is fuck. Yeah. Imported, bro. AVO. It's so fucking nice. Sounds good. It's so smooth in here. This is bullshit. Holy sh! I'm fucking lost. <laughs> the fucking cleanest daily ever. Okay, so two things. One, I didn't know how sick legacies were, uh, especially one that's like a full bolt-on. It has like 260 wheel. Holy shit, it's fast. I'm confused because I wasn't expecting that whatsoever. And now I'm kind of upset because I'm not deadlying that, even though it's a lot more expensive than my bug eye. But it's a super nice car. I was very impressed. And I can see myself owning one in the future. Not gonna lie. The BMW Turbo Swapped Q45 Infinity. The noises that it makes is insane. And uh, yeah, it's still getting, they're doing like, they have like a mega square and they're doing a bunch of uh, like self tuning. So it wasn't running obviously 100%, but that thing is going to be insane. If you want to see more of that car and like a more in depth review, kind of like what it has, how it swapped, how they did it, all that stuff, um, let me know. And we'll do like a more in depth review, but it was more so just kind of checking it out. Haven't seen him in a while. It's my classmate um, that I go to school with. So it was nice catching up with him and checking out their cars. They always do crazy stuff just like that, like swapping super weird things into weird things. Literally just no fucks given, but uh, it always turns out to be pretty cool. So because this video is pretty short and I haven't really talked about my bug eye, I honestly kind of forgot I had it just because all the stuff that's been going on with my Hawkeye. Uh, I'm going to go home and do a little walk around of the bug eye and tell you kind of like my future plans of what I'm gonna do with it. I think you guys are gonna be pretty interested. I have a few things in mind and uh, I definitely want you guys' input. So I'm gonna go home, we'll talk a little bit. I'll see you in a second. <sighs> well, in the bug. I'm, I'm seriously having super withdrawals because obviously my, uh, my beloved Hawkeye is still at the shop. So what I want to talk about real quick is basically my pretty immediate things I want to do to the bug eye. And uh, I want your guys' opinion on what you think. Uh, and I really just want to hear your guys' input on uh, what I'm about to say. So let me do a little setup here. I love Subarus because it has this little clock thing and I put my camera there every time. Like It's perfect. Anyway. So obviously first things first, uh, little plans for the bug is to get this thing running, get this thing running right. Now the reason why I got this car so cheap is because uh, it does have a cracked radiator and it was leaking everywhere. The engine runs, but apparently someone or the, some guy at Subaru said it had a rod knock and uh, for whatever reason, the guy thought he, like, he was lying, he didn't hear any rod knock. Uh, my friend uh, heard it start up, whatever, didn't hear any rod knock, so I don't know. I am going to be the judge of that and see if the engine actually is blown out or not. Um, so that is obviously first things first. Uh, today, but it's going to be a separate video, today I'm actually going to go to uh, Subaru, get the radiator, do a full... Uh, full swapping out, take out this old one, put in the new one, start it up, actually drive the car, but like I said, that is going to be in tomorrow's video, uh, all that stuff going down. Um, so that's number one. And then number two is definitely making this thing look better on the outside. And as far as making it look pretty decent, I think the paint is pretty much shot on the back half. And for this car to look relatively decent, um, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap it. So... I know that's that's like pretty overplayed at this point on YouTube, but I've never really done it, and it's definitely a cheap alternative if you're going to do it yourself to make your car look pretty decent on the outside. So as far as wrapping it and making it look decent, 
Uh, I have a couple friends that have tried it before and that are actually like pretty good at it. So I'm definitely going to have my friends help out. But also, of course, I have dents. So I'm just going to wrap over dents. I'm going to be getting a new rear bumper, um, possibly a new rear hatch, and then this fender as well. All the other small dents, I'm going to freaking do the little dent pro thing and basically get those out. Once uh, the outside is pretty like decent, then I'm going to go ahead and wrap it. So I want to hear the color you think I should do. All my friends are saying do like go crazy, maybe do like a freaking like army camo or something maybe a little bit more subtle, like a matte white or like a gray. I, I'm in love with silver Subarus. I've always wanted a silver Subaru. So I want to hear what you guys uh, have to th say about that. And then as far as making the outside uh, decent, that's obviously number one. Number two, as far as the inside, I honestly kind of like it. Like it's it, there these seats are so comfortable. I've never had a uh, like cloth seats. I like my other Subaru has leather I love cloth seats like it is. I don't know why It's just like it's more comfortable and uh, de Definitely feels pretty cozy holds me in well As far as other things in the inside. I'll probably just make it like a super clean like nice daily um, I'll probably end up getting like a pretty cheap like doubled in dash um, Possibly like throw a sub in the back and then maybe like put this thing on like some lowering springs and then like a nice set of cheap wheels. Um, as far as anything else, if you guys want to comment down below anything that you think uh, that would make this car look pretty decent, uh, of course I'm going to put my little Alex touch on it and uh, make it look as best as I can for as cheap as I can. Um, but that's pretty much it. That is my plans so far, just making this thing look decent. Um, wrap is definitely number one. Um, I want to hear you guys' opinion on the color. I think that's pretty much it for this video. Stay tuned for tomorrow's video. I will be uh, putting in a radiator and then uh, taking this thing on its first drive and hopefully the engine doesn't explode. So that's going to be pretty fun. Hope you guys are excited for that. I'm going to catch you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace out.